Hey YouTube, welcome back to another top 10 polls of the week. This is the first one for the year of 2022 and I promise you it is going to be amazing. This week, there's a couple that leaked from the first week of January. We didn't have an episode last week. Nikki and I were in Hawaii. So this is the first one and I tried to cater mostly to the polls from the last week, but there were a few that I just could not leave off of this list and you'll see why here in a second. But first of all, I just hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. I'm actually going to be going snowboarding for the first time today. So hopefully I'm not busting my butt too much today, but uh, I expect to probably take a couple of spills. Let's just hope my old age, I can handle it. But because I'm snowboarding, this episode today is not going to be a live premiere. I can't interact with you guys. I made that mistake the last time on accident. I thought I could be there and I couldn't. And I, I know there was some confusion. So anyone that shows up to those things, thank you so much. I'll typically be at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday mornings. Most of the time I'll be able to be there, but just not tomorrow. So again, thank you guys for just watching this. I greatly appreciate it. It's a lot of work, but as long as you guys appreciate it and enjoy it, I'll keep doing it. I, I know I've said that many times, but we're gonna do things a little bit differently today with the honorable mentions. I'm not gonna be showing the video reactions to those. They just take up a lot of time and I wanna reserve that for the top 10 polls. I'll be throw throwing the pictures up there of the cards that were pulled. And if you wanna see the card pulled in the reaction, I'll have all of the links in the description box below for you guys to go out and enjoy and click the like buttons and all that stuff. You should do that. Please do that. But that's enough of that. Let's talk about the honorable mentions this week. This will also allow me to showcase more polls if I'm not showing the videos, but the first one, our first honorable mention, Ethan Elvis covers and more. You know, great friend of the channel. He's been on this a couple times before. He pulled a Jared Kellenick Topps Chrome Orange Autograph. Unfortunately, this is a redemption, but I did hear he is signing. This is like a $1,350 card. It's awesome. One of the best pulls in the product. Obviously, you can get some lower number stuff, but that's the guy you want. So congratulations to you, Ethan. Our next one's Striker Breaks. He pulled... This Jason Dominguez Bowman Chrome Green Shimmer Auto out of 99 out of a blaster box. Those blaster boxes range from like 25, 30 bucks, somewhere in there. This is a $1,750 card. Absolutely insane. Congratulations to you, Striker. Barbell Breaks. Our dudes over at Barbell Breaks, PC87, Cheddar Bob. They pulled this Mac Jones Origins NFL Shield out of one you guys got to go check out the reaction again the links in the description box below this is like a three thousand dollar card i'm estimating pretty awesome congrats to you guys again great reaction steel city break room they pulled a lamello ball contenders optic orange redemption out of 25 this is like a four thousand two hundred and fifty dollar card i don't know if he's signing i i'd assume you'd hear more about it if he wasn't but who knows but congrats to you guys. That's a big card. Layton Sports Cards. You might see them again today. They pulled a Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella Tops Transcendent dual autograph, dual cut auto, whatever you want to call it, out of one. This was one of those that I had to pull from the prior week. This is a sweet looking card. This is like a $7,500 card. Yes, a $7,500 card is in the honorable mentions this week. And our last... Honorable mention is from Blaze Baseball. They have their own baseball channel. I think we've had them on here before, but they pulled a Marcelo Mayer. And I got to be honest, I didn't know who the heck this guy was. I'm not the biggest prospect guy, but now I do know. This is a Bowman Chrome Draft Red Autograph. Love to see that this is a live card out of five. Currently the owner of this, who actually... I think his name was David. He hit this card and he hit another card in the top 10 in the same week, like within three days of each other, I want to say. Absolutely insane. This, I think, is a $10,000 card, but he currently has his up on eBay for about 40. But that is our honorable mentions for this week. Hopefully you guys don't mind me doing it this way. It's going to make my life a heck of a lot easier, I promise you. But it's time to get into that top 10 list. Let's see what we got this week. It's going to be big. Number 10. The first poll to make the top 10 list comes from a viewer of the channel, Keith Hitch. And he actually sent this to me via email. He doesn't have it posted anywhere. At least he didn't say he had it posted anywhere. And initially, this was kind of teetering on if it was going to be an honorable mention or not. But I just love this dynamic. He goes into his LCS and 
buys the last Panini One box on the shelf. This is a 2020 product, so it's been there for a while. And the owner of the card store says, hey, let me film you opening it. You know, this is just, this is what it's all about right here. I had to show you guys this. Again, I think this is maybe an $8,000 card. Maybe, I don't know. He thinks five figures for sure. So we'll go with his take. Let's see what Keith pulled out of Panini One Football 2020. Oh man, I'm so pumped. That's not even my shit, I'm so pumped. <sighs> this is nerve wracking. <laughs> That's a redemption. Oh. Dude. Joe Burrow. Oh. Joe Burrow Black, one of one, dude. Oh. That's a my one of goodness. one Joe Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that, I, told, I, I told you. That's Black Spectrum, one of one Joe Burrow, bro. Banger. That's like a ten thousand dollars card. Worth it. Banger. We did it. <laughs> I absolutely love that reaction. I I had to show you guys. I just had to. I don't think you'll be able to click this link. I, I had Nikki try to click it to see if it worked, and it didn't work for her. So I probably won't even put it down there for you guys. But I had to show you. This is awesome. I. I I think he probably spent around 600 bucks on the box. I, I think that's kind of what they're going for. So he definitely made his money back at a bare minimum. But that was just a cool reaction. Here's a picture of the, the redemption. I know you didn't get a very good look at it in that video. But uh, thanks for sending that my way, Keith. That was, that was a pretty special reaction. Number nine. Well, look at that. Number nine this week comes out of the ninth Topps Transcendent case. They opened nine of these cases. This is crazy. Cheap fun breaks. Pulled an absolute monster out of Topps Transcendent. This product is one of the best baseball products and super expensive. But check out this poll here at number nine. I turn this over, the name is written, and I don't want to see it. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So we're just going to look. We're just going to we're gonna look together. I'm not going to look. I'm not looking. not looking. My eyes are closed. Mickey Mantle bad no, You said it! You said it! You said it! Mickey Mantle bad knob. What a case! Oh my gosh! Yo, yes! <laughs> Woo! Mickey yes, Mantle bad knob. I'm more excited about the Mickey Mantle bad knob than I am about Thomas you Jefferson. You said it at the beginning. Yes, <laughs> that's the one I wanted. Uh. How about that? That is so cool. I looked for comps. Over and over and over. I couldn't find a single Mickey Mantle bat knob, big Mickey Mantle booklet. It was so hard to comp this card out. But I got around 10K. I kind of just fell into into that spot here. Just so I can show it to you guys, really. But there is another card that's a little bit bigger than this one. Well, I guess because it's already sold. We'll, we'll talk about it later. You'll, you'll see what I mean. But that kind of influenced my decision to, to bring this up to the $10,000 range. But it's just a very, very cool card and a great reaction. Number eight. We're over here on Twitter with Budget Break St. Louis. They pulled something pretty cool out of Spectre Hobby. We're going to get a little, a little up close and personal with them here first before we actually see the poll. But this was one that was recommended by a viewer of the channel, and it's definitely worthy. Check this poll out. I would never do this to you. I wouldn't do this to you, man. I would never do this to you. And I'm not even joking, dude. This is a O. M G moment. Tony Hine, how about a gold vinyl Mac Jones one of one? Yeah, I think he'll take that card. That is insane. This is the aspiring, it's kind of a subset of, of their normal, you know, true RPA or whatever you want to say. Now, we did see the true RPA out of Spectra for Mac Jones, and I think I had that one about $15,000, so I brought this one down a little bit to twelve five. but that is a massive pull. Absolutely incredible. Very, very nice looking card there. Number seven. We are with Platinum Card Breaks, and they're pulling Panini Flawless Baseball. So much baseball this week, it's crazy. It's not typical, but it's worthy. Check out this poll. Mickey Mantle 101 wow. Auto! 101 Mickey Mantle Cut Auto! CEO! Mr. CEO, you're a beast. Now, when I first saw this card, 
I really didn't know what it was worth. You got a couple of bat pieces up there. And that is a, what looks to be a Mickey Mantle card, or it has to be a card, that was autographed probably after the fact. My, I'm thinking that, you know, the corners or something on that card just were dinged up. Panini got it really cheap, cut it, put it in this product, and sold it. This card sold for $13,500. I could not believe it. But it is a pretty cool design. Uh, you know, these cards, it's, it's worth whatever someone's willing to, to pay for it. I'm just so happy that somebody bought this card before I got on this episode. This was another one from the first week of January because I don't think I would have had it that high. And it kind of drugged that last Mickey Mantle auto up a little bit, I think. But it's a very, very cool card and a very cool pull. Number six. We are with Mojo Break, and they are opening Topps Transcendent Baseball. You can see by the size of this card, it is a very, very large card. So <laughs> you could probably guess kind of what we're going to see here, but this is a pretty amazing pull here. It's as big as they come, like physically. Let's see if we can go from the other side. Don't peek, Shane. Oh, it's big. Oh. Babe Ruth, one of one cut out of shit. Came up. There should be a fifteen thousand dollar Babe Ruth autograph. You you just put a nail on the wall and hang that right up. That uh, is insane i don't know what people do with these i mean people are willing to spend money for them that's for sure but i don't know do you frame it or do you do they make hard cases that big i don't even know that is incredible though very very cool piece of baseball history right there number five we have entered the top five and we have some more modern pull at least modern players coming up for you guys here this is an amazing pull though out of panini immaculate basketball just so many amazing products came out already this year. And uh, one of the bigger cards came out of this one already, too. Check out what Layton Sports Cards pulled. Holy crap. Monster card. Oh, man. Jumbo Patch Auto Rookie 7 of 10. Anthony Edwards. Boom. This exact card has already sold on eBay for $21,200. Incredible stuff. That is, that's pretty crazy. I think, I think the uh, gap between Anthony Edwards and LaMelo has, has slimmed down quite a bit. I don't know. I've, has Anthony Edwards, has he overtook him at this point? I, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. You guys let me know. Number four. We're back with Platinum card breaks and they're opening Bowman Draft Baseball. I think this is the one and only that made the top 10 this week. We did have that honorable mention earlier, but this product has some insanely valuable prospects in it. For whatever reason, people are willing to just fork over tens of thousands of dollars for people who haven't even played in the professionals yet. But uh, this this card here is a commanding a high dollar. Check out this poll. Mayor Black, one of one! Oh, wow, that is freaking insane! GG! Oh. oh! Bam, baby! I think this is the guy. Like I said earlier, that's why he, uh, the out of five, didn't make the list. Because we already had this one on the list. And, you know, we got to show love to, to as many different people, cards, athletes as we can. Just how we do it around here, but this card is this the product hit? I I don't know. Again, I was on vacation, guys. I didn't have a lot of time to do a ton of research, but to count this card out, what I did: Henry Davis, another highly touted prospect in this product, 
His exact same card, one of one, sold for $15,000. So I backtracked down to there out of 75 because there's obviously 75 of those and there's some Myers or Mayers that have sold. And uh, Mayers out of 75 sold for double what Henry Davis's did. So the one of one, you know, simple math, it's got to be double, right? So this could be a $30,000 card. Again, maybe someone's willing to pay more than that. Maybe they're not willing to pay that. Who knows? But that's where I got it. That's why I'm putting that amount of money on this card. Number three. All right, we're back with Blez, but just their Blez sports cards. And we're over on their Instagram. I think many of you probably have seen this poll already, but if not, you're welcome. This, this is a big, big poll. Uh, another potential product hit for optic fast break basketball from this year check this out oh what is this what is this what is this what is this what of one lavella <laughs> we'll bleep out those uh those poops but uh that's an insane card absolutely insane this is another one very very tough to comp i think it's gonna be around forty five thousand, forty thousand, somewhere in there not a ton again to go off of with this card i saw there was a, a ant-man select premiere that was up for 50 you know, i don't think it sells for that but this is one of the biggest cards in that product Number two. All right, guys, here at number two, we're doing something that we have never done before. But in this case, we have to do it. Again, many of you might have seen this poll already. No, it's not out of Bowman Draft, as you see in the background there. Blowout TV was polling Topps Chrome Sapphire F1 Racing. You guys know the card everyone's searching for. Well, it's finally surfaced. Check out this poll here at number two. It is 60 of 70. All right, got a purple coming up here. I think it might be a portrait too. Alisi, Magnuson, come on, baby. Show. no. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Well, Dave, looks like I'm flying to uh, California. Holy, oh my God. <laughs> I'm flying to California. The video quality here leaves a little to be desired, but that card is amazing. I'll put a better picture up here for you guys. You guys got to tell me. Anyone out there that knows anything about F1 racing, which, again, I said we haven't done anything outside of football, basketball, or baseball. So this is a first. But is it pretty much Hamilton or Bust? Or is there other people in this product that people want to collect and stuff too? Because you know, I fear for resale prices of the, the sealed boxes now that this card's been pulled. But that is massive. I, 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 know, I don't know anything about F1 racing, but because of sports cards, I know who Lewis Hamilton is, which is a pretty cool thing. But... I also know he's like 37 years old because I did a little research on him too, but it is a, just a phenomenal card. I can't remember how I came to $100,000. I think people in the chats was throwing out that number, so I don't remember, but it's going to command a lot of money, and this is only number two, and it doesn't matter. You can throw whatever the heck you want on it. Number one is going to blow this card out of the water. Let's go check it out. Number one. Mama Carts pulled something absolutely incredible out of 2020 Flawless. Again, another one of those cases that have just, just been sitting around for a while waiting for someone to open it. I, I'll blur this part out, but you guys can see in the comments. This guy's saying, what is this, a million dollar card? I don't know. Let's find out what it is. If you haven't seen this yet, oh my goodness, you're in for a treat. I'm, going, I'm so nervous what this card is. I'm going to drop it like it's hot. All right, Jesse, I'm going to drop it like it's hot on the count of three. You guys ready? One, two, three. 
Seven-time Super Bowl champ, Tim Brady. If you're new here, it's a running joke on the channel. I love Tom. Don't, don't get mad at me. This card is bonkers. That's the first time I've ever said that word on this, on this episode. Holy cow. That, you know, that guy, one guy said he thinks it's a million. I, I think maybe half of that is reasonable. $500,000 is a lot of money. That's a freaking house in most states. Unbelievable card right there. So congrats to Mamba Cards on the phenomenal poll. What a way to start 2022 over there. Taking down the top spot this week. Let's uh, look ahead maybe at what we can expect over the course of the next week. We didn't see any Mosaic football. I mean, this was a tough week with Transcendent and Immaculate and Bowman Chrome Draft. Those cards are very, very expensive. But I'm sure there's some pretty good ones coming out of Mosaic, hopefully yet. I love that product, and I'm hoping to see some retail in the next coming weeks. Hopefully you guys get your hands on some of that too, because I think the boxes are about 600 bucks. But outside of that product, it's anyone's guess what we're going to see next week. I'm sure some of these other products that we saw this week, I'm sure there'll be some more polls coming. But if you guys do happen to see something that you feel should make the list, again, it doesn't have to be a $10,000 card. I like to say anything over a thousand, you know, take a chance, throw it at me. I, I love to watch it regardless. I'll throw a comment and a like and whatever. I enjoy watching them. So if it's over a thousand bucks, send it my way. Email, DM me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Whatever works for you guys works for me. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys do have a football team still playing this weekend, like I do my 49ers, good luck to them. Unless it's the Cowboys, no luck for you. I know there's a lot of Cowboy fans watching and they'll be in the comments, I'm sure. Also, I did release my first PSA submission return. It came in this week. I released that video yesterday. So if you have not seen that yet, right at the end screen here, it'll say previous video. Click on that one, check it out. I did it blindly, so I didn't know what any of the cards were coming in at. It was a lot of fun doing it that way. I will say I'll do that again when my next submission comes. This was the 20 day. It took 11 months to get. I do have a 45 day return that you know, maybe I'll get that in a few years. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. But that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, hope you have a great weekend. And we'll be seeing you soon. Until then, be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.